This baby rabbit comes to see me every day, I swear to you. I actually did a, another quick video on this earlier. And uh, yeah, he just just chills out. He, he is about 10 feet from me, literally. And he's teeny. So cute. I mean, yeah, just put it right, you know, see the size of the pine cones compared to him? He's a little bigger than a pine cone. Crazy. Welcome back to Magic the Island Attitude. Evil Dave here. How is everybody doing? Oh, it's, 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 it's raining out again. I can't do an outdoor video, folks. I, I and thoroughly enjoy those, but I, I can't do it. So, I actually do care about the cards sometimes. So anyway, oh man, I got the evil box out here. You know what that means? Trash. <laughs> Whenever I get the evil box out there. But, we build trash into gold. So, fan question is this. Have you ever built trash into gold? There it is right there. Amulet of Unmaken. I forgot the goddamn NC Jam Pack, but I did not forget the giveaway that he gives me. That's from Mirage. Uh, about a two, three dollar hit maybe. And three packs of uh, set boosters. Brothers War, make sure you hit me up. Um, from Matt Caster Mage, it's my patron card of the month. I am giving it away once again. Last time I regretted it because it was a uh, polluted delta. Yeah. Okay. Urza's Legacy. Karma God. Nice card, man. Let's see. Put two in there. Ooh. Oh my God. That is a showcase Heliod Suncrom. Mr. Guy is going to be very jealous of that. Wow. Okay. Those are the only two in there. Let's check. Sometimes he puts he pokes three in there. But uh, Matt, thank you. Uh, check him out, Matt Caster Mage. Uh, I've been a patron of his for over two years now. So, um, Market Movers, best 10 to 15 minutes of my day. Nope, just those two. <laughs> just, just those two. But beautiful. Going out with the lucky fan. Oh, man, I smudged that. All right. Um, but while you're thinking about the fan question, hey, uh, Shipbird, speed this up. Okay, so I had an extra one of these kicking around and I just pulled these out of the mystery power box. You guys saw what I pulled out of the mystery power box. Infinity, Crimson Vow, D&D, and Masters 25. Not, poor, not, the, not the worst I've seen, but pretty bad. Um, this, okay, so by the way, Joey Moss and I were having a discussion on this. So it looks like, where is it? Where is it? Uh, hmm, hmm. It was like Excel Gaming I saw on there. Uh, I can't. I can't remember where I found it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say. But these these mystery. You can only get these at Target. These are pretty tough to find. Um, so you guys saw what I pulled. It, it was. It was too quick in the fast forward. Those are the two collector packs I pulled out. Not horrible. It just it, everything's so different in there. And I also got three set boosts of uh, March and the Machines. And in the set booster chaos box, uh, Kamigawa, March of the Machines again, man, March of the Machines week, Phyrexia, Phyrexia, and Wilds of Eldraine. So we're gonna get to cracking, folks. So a lot of good, lot of good giveaways. Oh yeah, and I I have these. So Headless Rider, it's like a buck or two. Uh, Lessa, uh, I want to say is around three or four. Sarath is around two bucks. And then Geist of Saint uh, Traff, that's what we pulled out of the Mystery Power Box. I don't know the media promo. I don't know what that one is. Oh, actually, that's Dual Index, I believe. Yeah, that's Dual Index. So I don't know the price off the top of my head. And speaking of price, Mystery Monday, all about value. Beautiful dies going out. This also I got out of the, the uh, Target Mystery Box. All right, here we go. 13, come on. Uh, 10 and 14. This is nice. That's actually from uh, Lord of the Rings. So both of them going out. Huh. Balls in my hand. Does this make you uncomfortable? Hey! Does this make you uncomfortable? A little bit. 
All right, moving on. Here we go. Aftermath, I mean, not much to look at here. Hopefully, I got enough tape on here to record. Uh, it's not saying I have a lot, so I'm going to try and go through this really quick. So, how is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. And not much to see there. So, um, I'm a lot better than I was last week. So, for, for damn sure. And for obvious reasons, you know, it's just... It's just you, you're being told that you can't do something in this world anymore. It just it just it just poked at me. Ooh, Pina Lore. Okay, that's the showcase version. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Look, I got a little cut in my hand. See that? I it, it's just a little cut, but you know what? I, I deal with fecal matter every day, so I I got to be careful. That stuff can turn sepsis. <clears throat> Open the way. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, okay. Damn it. Hmm. Hey, come on, man. Get the dog. So, yeah, I uh, just woke up this morning. I'm like, I, I usually crack these packs two weeks in advance, thereabouts. Today is March 17th, I want to say, if I can remember my days correctly. Ooh, campus renovation. Okay. I mean, that's something. That is something. All right, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, man. Show daddy some love. Show daddy some love. Oh, Rocco. Come on, man. We don't want no Rocco. Goddamn freaking new Capenna bolt shite. And, yeah. So, just uh, still trying to cope with it. The the shot that the doctor gave me is working pretty good. Uh, it's Piano Lore again. It's, uh, oh, plug in the sorry. Mm -hmm. that's, some, that's something. It's, yeah, it's working decent. It's working decent for darn sure. So, but again, it's not sustainable. It's a band-aid on a sucking chest wound. And uh, I just have to kind of go with that. Karn, Legacy Reforged. There we go. First mythic. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. Not horrible. Not horrible. All right. I'm just I'm looking at the time. It's saying I got 14 minutes of tape. And I'm like, wait a minute. I, I erased everything, man. What's going on with that? Okay. Oh, rock all gun. Ooh, Calyx. Guided by fate. That's on the showcase. That's a banger. Yeah. Not even going to take a stab at the, the price. Actually, yes, I am. $12. Stand by, guys. That's better. Okay. Just installed a bunch of games that uh, I did not install. So I think somebody's uh, playing with me here. All right. Uh, also, and by the way, the promo is going out from uh, Aftermath as well. So meant to mention that, but uh, let's get into the set boosters. I I'm a little more relaxed now. So, all right. Here we go, Kamigawa. Can, can I pull out a Wandering Emperor? Uh, lands and uh, our cards going out for all the set boosters. So that's a thing. Fans got it so good. Fans got it so good. So I had to send out a couple packs because uh, my Ojin, Bloom and Dawn. That's actually not a horrible card, man. Not horrible at all. All right, Takanuma. Mm, okay, eh, nothing more to see there. Uh, yeah, we'll put the foil. Actually, you know what? Foil going out. Why not? Why not? So, yeah, I said I install a bunch of stuff. Have you guys, have you guys ever done that? Like, oh shit, I got a lot of stuff on my phone. Ooh, Croxa in Kronos. That's actually not a horrible card, man. That's a little bit of a banger. Booyah. We'll take that. Not horrible. <laughs> Grim Grin. <laughs> Grim Grin. I said it right. That is in the actually it looks like a showcase, but it's actually a normal card. So we'll go right through these. There's just so much going on now with the magic these days. So it's a true story. Our card, <laughs> Mr. Guy's garbage. I love that our card. Just open the pack, Solari. Ooh, it's a foil. Just open there. the pack. Oh, Gaia. That's actually not horrible. That is not a horrible card to get off rip. We'll take that. Red Sun's Twilight. <laughs> Just saying, just saying, yeah, the Twilight stuff really don't do it for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What cards out there do not do it for you? <laughs> so, I'd have to say, uh, oh man, cards that I absolutely can't stand showing up. Uh, oh God. I mean, I play with him. I, I, I actually I think I like Phyrexian Obliterator. A lot of people don't like seeing that card show up at all. Mondrock, all right, here we go. Another Mythic Man. Oh yeah, we'll take it. A little bit of a sparkle there, kid. All right. To get ready to go on our annual uh, Umbagog trip. Can't wait for that. 
I'm going on a separate one with some uh, military buds that are still in. Uh, I know Mr. Guy's still in and, and whatnot, but these are like guys that I, like my fantasy football friends, basically. <laughs> Devon and Sugarmar going out. <laughs> Why not? Ooh, shoot. I just screwed that up. Davey Pyle suck right now. Okay. Rankles prank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> About that. About that. All right. Not horrible. I will uh, I will actually take this. All right, guys, I'm going to clean this stuff up. Stand by. And we're back. Did you guys see me pull that Vault Born Tyrant last week? Um, I First off, I didn't realize the foil. I didn't know it was Showcase. And it took me a second to realize that it was actually foil. I didn't realize that was a $175 card. I was like, holy crap. And I'm glad I went to my friend Jeremy. And he gave away that, that foil sliver. I can't believe he did that. He's like, oh, this whole pack's going out. Everybody's like, yay, thanks, Jeremy. j Dog." So he um, was a little over-served on uh, not, not on alcohol. I'll leave it at that. All moth, locust of all, not horrible. We'll take that. Oh, there we go. Vile Requiem. Uh, what commander set is that? Uh, 2013. Yeah, it just might be M13. Uh, actually, it might be M12. So we'll have to see. So, I do like getting the list cards. I gotta say, it's a good way to reintroduce some old magic to some newer players. I do like that. Also, sometimes it can be a little bit of a, a chase card, so to speak, for the collectors. Speaking of which, as if you've been here a while, uh, I play, <laughs> I collect, and obviously I crack open packs. So, build decks, all that good jazz. Alenda and Azar, not horrible. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I was not expecting her to come out. Booyah! Let's take a friggin' Elish Norn. Why the hell not, man? I got a perfect deck she's going into. Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree. Nobody cares. Oh, man, for Magic 10. Wow. M10, man. Sleeper Agent. Not horrible. Wow, what a friggin' pack that was. Holy crap. Again, guys, these came out of those, those Target boxes. Those are $35. You get two collector packs out of there and uh, three packs. That is really a good deal. Uh, it, 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 listen, you, you're always, you're never going to get back what you put into it. You never you never are. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you pull a $175 card that you give to your friend. Deck. Anyway, moving on. Give uh, to the World Tree. About a buck and an ancient Imperial Sword. So we generally put the, uh, the 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 dollar and up prices for this um, on the screen. Everything else we consider bulk. Doesn't matter if, if it's rarity. Jeez, man. Got to use the teeth. So, pack's kicking my ass. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I Again, I... <laughs> I don't get jealous giving stuff away that open it was for Jeremy... However, that was a hard pill to swallow because that's probably the best card you're going to get out of there. Beautiful Swamp. Beautiful. Worth about a buck or so. Their boots. Their boots. And, and nothing more to see here. Hmm. What kind of stickers we got today? Oh, I kind of like the mask. I'm feeling the mask because we're trying to turn ass and trash into gold. So we'll see if we can do that. And this isn't the set that you're going to do it out of for damn sure. Not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. I mean, every set has a good card or two. Some more than others. So, and this is not one of those packs. That's all I'm going to say. Beautiful forest going out. Twiddler card. Check him out. Bing. Hey, Mr. Ed Twiddler. So, great dude. Great dude. He, uh, he has all his games and stuff on the show. I do like it. I like the duck races. So, it's a quick uh, turn and burn for him, you know. Uh, oh, somebody just, uh, oh, Jeremy just texted me. I'm like, hey, dude, that wasn't a $75 card. That was a $175 card. That is one you want to put, not in, in your deck, but proxy, you might want to proxy that one. Okay, Dinah here. Mm. Master Chef. That's for you, Editor J. I'll sign that for all you Wahoo maniacs that uh, want my signature. Oh, all right, Mazzy Foil in the showcase. Not horrible. I mean, it's about as good as you're going to get out of that set. 
I'll go through slow with the uncommons in this. They can be uh, pretty valuable at, at, at times. So, oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot, guys. Mog flunkies. That's me right now. White Mane Lion. Oh, Counterspell. Going up with a lucky fan. It's about a buck. So, maybe uh, close, you know, a buck, buck and a half, something like that. So, <laughs> give or take, give or take. Okay, Spike Shot Goblin. Mm -hmm. Congregate. That's actually not horrible. Nyx Fleece Ram. And what do we got? We got a rare. Oh, Blue Sun Zenith. It's actually a really, really good card. And uh, if I had to take a stab at the price, it's going to be five and eight. And a Foil Pacifism. So, going out with a lucky fan. And an insect token. Going out with a lucky fan. All right, guys, stand by while I clean up this mess. And we're back. All right, fan pack charging up. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Doctor Who, but again, I'm a huge fan of Caverns. But, that, man, just the variety you get out of that set. So, like I said, Joey and I couldn't figure out if it was an MTG product or uh, this is product called XL. So, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't figure that out between the two of us. So, and we're pretty, you know, we're pretty wise with that stuff for sure. All right. Oh, Massacre Girl. Okay. Old school. I'll take Massacre Girl. I think I could find a, uh, a spot for her. So, for damn sure. She's annoying. So, that's one of those annoying cards. So, <laughs> Massacre Worm. There's another one. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot the other pull tab. These, uh, these pull tabs actually work. All right. Here we go. Spirit and... Oh. Sabra. Okay. Got a snipe, Civic Saber, and Celestia Angel. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, Borda Grease. Going out with Lucky Fan. I like giving that card out. That's one of the greatest commons out there. Next to Spell Pierce. Card's busted. All right. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Here we go. Oh, you CTs. Oh, you major CTs. God damn it. And we get this pile of dung. <laughs> Just. Son of a bitch, man. You know what? Um, uh, yeah. We're going to do this right now. Uh, right down the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? There it is right there. Well, you know, I'll do the Aborto Glaze as well. Hey, that one's not like going on there that well. All right. And that one is. There it is. There are your signed cards, folks. I'm not going to sign that other one I ripped. I'm just going to leave it in there. <sighs> All right. Jeremy, you pulled a three, a first sliver foil, and a, I think it was Force of Despair. You did really good last week, and I think you stole... Like, this, this came out of a box, so I think you stole all my goodness. Snow-Covered Island, that's actually pretty decent. That's about a buck, maybe even two. Lonely Sandbar Foil, not horrible. I'll keep that one. I could put it in the cool guy pile. Winds of Abandon, good card. Rico, Scuttle and Sliver, and a Wing Shot. Mm, we'll go through the Commons. <laughs> Goblin. By the way, if you guys see a card that you might want and you don't win the question, just hit me up at dsolari13 at yahoo.com. I'll send it out to you. Beautiful foil token, going out with a lucky fan. Snow-covered plains, that's staying with me. Bazaar trade mage, bazaar, should say. Smite and helix, grave shifter, and ingenious infiltrator. Not horrible. Well, we'll just go through these, you know, nice and slow. So I do that with my uh, my buddy uh, Brandon out in uh, Michigan. He's like, hey, Dave, do you mind if I take these off your hands? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. I just mail them out to him. Don't charge anybody for mailing. And again, if you win, if I pick your comment, like when you put a comment in there, check it every now and again. So I do pin them throughout the day and I do switch them out every now and again to cause a little confusion and havoc. But I pin the one that I finally pick. Oh, please show up. Snow Covered Mountain. Not bad. Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Why couldn't you be the foil? Very nice though. Not, not going to complain about that. First Slivers Chosen. And what did Jeremy say? Degenerates. Degenerates, people that play slivers. So, a lot of slivers in this one. There we go. I'll take that. Ah, imagine that coming at you, man. Just a wall of swords. <laughs> F word. All right, stand by. We'll get into the collector packs. And we're back. 
Okay, so in case you, you saw these two that I pulled out. Um, <laughs> conjunction, Junction, <laughs> Infinity, and Zendikar. Not the best in my repertoire, but you know what? I, I want to go through these. I do have a medley of cards I always want to, to share with you guys' experience. Man, look at those beautiful hands. So, uh, these beautiful hands have gotten into so many fights. You see my nose. It's been busted three times, man. Beautiful surge foil. You know what? Going out. Why not? Why not? Okay, the 13th Doctor. That's not bad. Eh, something wrong with my mouth. There's like a circle on there. Oh, no. It's a jar, a potion, whatever. All right. Vizlaws, Turla. I mean, oh, beautiful command tower. I'm actually going to keep that one. It's probably close to a buck. Amy Pond. That's on the surge foil. Talisman of Curiosity. Always a staple. Always a good staple card for sure. Okay, Idris, Inspiring Refrain, Nanogene, conversation. Ooh, sorry, guys, I pulled it off uh, camera then. The Temple of the Sea goes round the first doctor in search. Cinder Glade, and as a battlefield tap, plus you control two or more basic lands. It's actually not a horrible card, and that's in the search foil. Rose Tyler search foil. Uh, I want to say that has a, a little bit of value. Tardis, that's what my wife calls me. Sweet salty oh, socks. The first doctor. It's actually not bad. And that's in the showcase. And a, <laughs> the boy must grow to be a warrior token. Going up. Lucky fan. Oop. It, it, that was like one of the, the, the bulkier. There's something on my camera. There's something on my camera. Damn it. That was one of the bulkier sets for damn sure. Is that like on the. Nope, no, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Nope. Don't do that, Dave. No, no, don't, 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 go away. Hold on, wait, wait, stand by, guys. And we're back. Okay. Hey, no, no. Yeah, there it is. Whoo. Oh, I hate when I do that. It, it, it does the lock feature. I was trying to get something off the camera because I couldn't see the cards. It was like, I don't know, some piece, piece of dust or something. Couldn't really tell what it was. Dave, you switched the pack. This is a good pack. You watch this be a freaking ball and pack, too. Like, no, no. Guys, I don't, I don't do that. You know how expensive it is to do that shit? All right. Brass Tunnels Grinder. Stinger of... I hope this pack is actually garbage. And Oh, okay. Echo Peckle. We'll take it. Not horrible. Welcome to... And that's in the foil. That's actually a decent. I like this card. Just not a lot of value in it. So, I'm glad it wasn't like a ball and pack. For sure. Because like, yes, like, damn, you switched it off. Like, no, no, dude. No, I didn't. Oh man, what are my chances of getting, getting another vault born again? Slim to none. <laughs> it's just not happening. So best you can do out of here, aside from like a like a raised uh, showcase, you know, type of deal. All right, here we go. Uh, Smuggler's surprise, bedevil, great card. Oh, Eris, roar of the storm, and one last job. Two oh, tiny bones shows his face. There we go. Take a tiny bones. Fierce Retribution. We'll take that. That's some good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm getting getting kind of happy now. Getting kind of happy. All right. <laughs> this set makes me happy, even though it's absolute trash. And I opened up a box of this just because, for the flavor, guys. For the flavor. And uh, a lot of it uh, has been banned uh, in recently. So, but the Galaxy Foil Common and Uncommons, when you, when you come up to them, are pretty decent. They're pretty decent, price-wise. Price-wise. Okay, there it is right there. Draconian Gatebot, and that is in Galaxy Foil. Blue Ribbon, Galaxy Foil. Pulled that a thousand times. Nope. Is that Galaxy Foil? No, it is not. Just regular foil. Okay. All right. Earl of Squirrel. I love it. He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> Comet, Stellar Pup, okay, non-galaxy, beautiful island, and it looks like we got a mount behind it. No! Oh my fucking god, it's Galaxy Foil, baby! Oh, I thought it was a mount. Booyah! Fuck you, baby! I stuck with the Galaxy Foil on the freaking uh, goddamn chocolate. Wow! Look at that. Oh, no, baby! Yeah, no, no, no. We gotta, she's got to get a double sleeve because she's dirty. She's dirty. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, man. Oh, wow. That's a jelly card. See, that's what you get when you, when you give. You get what you give. And uh, I gave a lot away to my friend last week. Oh, man. Beautiful. And I mean gorgeous stomping grounds. That is a lovely. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double sleeve. There it is right there, man. Never played. Only touched by these gorgeous hounds. Woo! All right. Oh, my God. That is the first time I have pulled one of those. God damn, it's about time. Can't wait to see the price on that. But, I don't know, a little... <laughs> what does everybody want? Head. Al Snow, anybody? Muscle fans? <laughs> Very obscure reference, Dave. All right. Zendikar Eisen. I have not pulled anything really special out of the regular packs. Last card going out. Beautiful Forest. All right. Archpriest of Iona. Mm. Uh, just okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Not good, guys. Not good. Fearless Fledgling. Sure. Why not? Ah, oh, because I'm going to this in the showcase. All right. And what we got? We got an uncommon. All right, Rune Crab and the Foil. You know what? I lied. This one's going out too. It's definitely over a buck. So, that is definitely one of my most annoying cards to, to pull. Inscription of Ruin. Oh, okay. We have yet to hit a good Zendy pack. Guys, listen. Thank you. Much love. Deuces. We will see you. Answer the goddamn question. And if I pick you, come find me. Till next time, guys. Much love.